Greetings from the eerie coast, this is Mad Shad. What are we going to talk about today? KSG. Yeah. From Caltech. So, we all know that in this, in this, uh, this interesting society that we live in, that at any point in time, something could happen. And, it, you know, our, our home is our castle. Uh, <laughs> mine is more like a medieval armory. Uh, <laughs> <you know. laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is this in the corner? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> as, as being a, a medieval and, and uh, melee weapon uh, enthusiast, <laughs> I've got shit just scattered everywhere. I, I, you know, I did that, I did the whole thing, I'm going to put it on the wall, make it on. No, you want to, you want to pick that thing up and you want to swing it around and play with it. So, you know, putting it on the wall for display, it just, you know, they, they fall off the wall and then it's, it's, they, they, they gather bullshit and you're putting holes in the wall, you don't want to do that. So, especially if you're renting. Uh, so, anyway, uh. I like to be able to just walk over, grab something, swing it around, you know, to get that muscle memory, to, to, to maintain that, that muscle memory and that, that dexterity. Like, oh yeah, I remember this thing. I can't do that. I got to do that. You know what I'm saying? You got you to figure out how to, how to manipulate the weapon. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm dealing with a headache. Uh, let's hope it's not a TBI thing. But, so... We know that your home is your castle, and that you, being the 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 king of the castle or the queen of the castle, if you will, uh, it is your job, it's your responsibility, to protect from invaders, marauders, uh, anyone not authorized to be there, and who wish to do you ill will. So. So, when, f when faced with that situation, we all think, well, I'm just going to grab my thing and bing, bang, bang. Okay, that's great. Uh, what are you going to grab? What are you going to grab? Uh, you only have, you're, you're working off of a reaction. If you know anything about reaction time, reaction, you are... You're, you're, you're not, you're, you're behind the power curve. So having something that is, that is easy to manipulate and, and, and easy to, to bring to bear, uh, without a lot of forethought and bullshit, uh, having to deal with, you know, figure out stuff, you want to be able to just go and, and deploy, uh, your, your means of, of, of uh, hate and discontent. So, <laughs> uh, ha having that, having that stage somewhere, having having it safe in storage, because it's a storage issue. You know, you're you're you're. It's it's going. It's pro. It's just going to sit there until you need it, or until you're practicing with it, or you're until you're, you know, manipulating it. You know, for familiarity. Uh, so. I'm a proud proponent of of shotgun for home defense. It's that's the best thing, you know. And you're you're bringing a lot of a lot of punch to the target uh, in a short amount of time. Uh, <laughs> and and it's 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 effective. It's effective has been since the concept of the shotgun, the conception of the shotgun, the blunderbuss, yeah, you know. So, the times have changed. Times have gotten a lot, a lot better. Uh, and so, you know, I, I've always been trying to, trying to play catch up uh, and keep up with the times, you know, uh, as, as far as like, uh, you know, gear and, and, and weapons and, and and, and apply my my uh, my warrior mentality to it because it's a tool. 
It's just a tool. It's something that is used. And if you use it correctly, it works. You get to use the right tool for the job. And in my opinion and many others, the shotgun is the right tool for the job. Uh, faced with a home invasion uh, or something at Marauders, you know, those who knock at the door, uh, those who knock down your door, you, 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 you're, you don't have mere seconds. Okay, you don't. You, you, you had mere seconds. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, you know, the door, the window, the wall, the ceiling, the floor, whatever, however they wish to come through. Uh, you know, so you're, you're, you are on reaction. You're not being proactive. Proactive means you've got the jump on. You know, proactive means, ah, I got you. You're in my sights. All I got to do is wait. Bang, got you. You know, no, this is, oh shit, what the fuck? Let me, hold on, let me process this information, analyze. Oh, there's people coming through the door. It's a, it's a shocking thing. You don't see that a lot. You don't see people just come running through your door and they've got weapons or they're yelling, cussing, and screaming. There's flashlights involved, whatever, a flashbang, whatever. You don't expect any of that because you're sitting around scratching your ass, making a cheese sandwich, making a grilled cheese sandwich, and then, you know, boom, just people in your, in your house running around. Or they sneak in, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be. So, you know, most people, reaction time, and, 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 and it's, it's something that you really have to train. Uh, when things happen, they happen quickly, and you have to be able to analyze, process that information, and react accordingly. So to do that, you, you do need a little bit of training in that. Yeah, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a fine line. <laughs> it's a fine line. Uh, once you get to that point, you're just... <laughs> It, but it is a a, uh, um, a, uh, a a skill that that deteriorates over time. Uh, I have noticed that. Um, but I also I have also noticed that when something happens, that I react and it, then my mind catches up and go, "Wow, I did that." <laughs> okay. So anyway, I'm on this little tangent. So I, I wanted to talk about talk about this thing. So. Choosing the right tool for the job for for you know marauders and you know a shotgun is 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 great uh, for for your your home defense uh, and and that type of that working in that type of environment your home environment uh, pistol if you're really really proficient with a pistol yeah that's great um, pistol rounds nine mils forty fives uh, forty something with some kick and some punch because you know, there, there's this thing called adrenal dump. Okay, adrenal dump happens uh, when when there's a, a stressful situation. You know, where you're fight or flight, and you literally the person literally has superhuman strength. Your 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 mind. You you get tunnel vision. Uh, you know, blood blood stops flowing to your extremities and it protects your core. It goes to your legs, or it, you get this adrenaline. Arr! You know, so that you can either fight or flight. Okay, uh, some people have this kind of deer in the headlights reaction. That's eh, that's not so good. Uh, you got to get out of that. But um, that's something that you have to work on. Uh, some people don't have that. <laughs> anyway. Whatever the case may be, is that you have to react. You're 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 behind the power curve. Uh, your reaction time, depending on your training and depending on your 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 mind, is the best that we can ever get. Uh, <laughs> that that we know of is is 0 0.3 seconds after. Now most people, uh, I'm just saying regular people, is usually a second or a two or three. Some people even go all the way up as to five seconds after something happens that they react. One, two, three, four, five. 
So, you know, it's 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 something that you have to okay, well, you know, it's it's yeah. uh having that mindset, that's you can you you can you can get that with training. Uh and 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 also uh the way that you uh, uh train your mind as well. Uh, a sharp mind. Uh so with a shotgun with pistols, you, you, you basically got to be dead on. You're 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 presenting that weapon from that position, and and you're and you're going through your training. You know, uh, a lot of folks they just think, "Well, oh, I've got a gun. I'm just going to pull it out and shoot." Yeah, okay, try that. Uh, it, it's it's we've seen it, you know, many many times before um, that. Usually the bullets are going downward because you're pushing the gun downward, you know. And don't don't get kill shot with it. That doesn't work either. You might get one perfect little you know instance where you know the barrel lines up with the target and boom you get one. But you know you got to get that that correct sight picture, you know. And that only comes with training. So with a shotgun. Very little training is involved because you have a a a, a wide. Unless you're don't use a slug in the house. Just just don't use a slug in the house. Use a slug if you're going to use you know do some long range stuff. And long range, I'm talking like under a hundred meters, <laughs> under a hundred yards, you know, under. <laughs> uh, and yeah, we're not even going to get into that. You know, some guys with scopes and. You know, people do hunt, deer hunt with with rifle and slug. I've I've done it before myself. Uh, it's you know anyway. So what we're talking about is close in engagements, close range engagements between three feet and up to twenty feet. You know, uh, you got to think about the engagement of your living area. You know, from you to the front door, from you to the window. From you to the, you turn the corner and there's somebody there. You know, it's 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 you got You got to think like that. That is the range that you're operating in. So, a shotgun just makes perfect sense. You you point and shoot. Uh, there is some things you got to think about though. Um, if you're using a 12 gauge, which I thoroughly recommend, because it brings the most most firepower to bear. And that is, it's it's more, uh, it's it's operator friendly. It's user friendly. You're you're not you're not shooting off a rocket launcher in your house. You know what I mean? You go to ten mil or ten ten gauge, <laughs> and plus it hurts like fuck. I mean, unless you got all the cool little you know pads and or you or you're just a big ass bodybuilder and you've got all this mass here, you know, it, are, are are you gonna wear a shooter's you know, uh, pad around you, around on you at all times. No, so you got to put it on your gun. So what I went with, and this is what I went with years ago uh, when it first came out, and I thought, oh man, it's just all the rage, and uh, that's 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 a badass idea, uh, and I liked it. So what I have here, let's just get with it, is KSG, KSG from Kiltec. It is absolutely empty. So uh, I have checked it. I'm going to put my finger in in the barrel itself, in the chamber. I can I can physically feel it. I've I've physically looked at it. I've looked at the magazines. Uh, there's there's two tubes, magazine tubes, and uh, they are they are absolutely empty. Uh, there is no no uh, there there is no danger. Of, of having an accidental discharge, you know, so, uh, boom, you know, nothing. Uh, so, what I'm showing you is an inert, empty, condition zero weapon, what they would call a condition zero weapon. So, what I've done here is, uh, when I first bought this thing, I was like, oh man, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread, and it's going to be badass, and, you know, it didn't come with this. I have an Enforce uh, flashlight on it. So, yeah, oh, shit, let me turn that off. Uh, flashlight and a shotgun, it's very important. Uh, and then I put this on there, you know, because it's just, it, 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 
it makes more sense. I mean, you don't have to have that. You can go like this. I can still use this. But with this gun, I found that there's some pros and cons to it. So let's just say that. Uh, it wasn't the greatest uh, since sliced bread. And of course, I learned also, got to have a cheek pad and a nice little uh, you know, buffer. Um, recoil pad. This thing, it's, it's a bullpup design, so the action is all right here. Uh, when you're shooting this thing, there's an explosion going off right here. And it feels like somebody's going pow right in your face, right in your jaw, every fucking time. And it kicks like a fucking mule. Even, even, with, even when I'm, you know, because I like, I, like I like to pull the gun, put the gun to my face. Okay, just like that. That's, oh, that's it. I don't. I don't do this. You're not. You're not laying on a gun. You want to be standing up with the gun to your face. So, and this. This is my sight. <laughs> that's all you need. Uh, I did have an EOTech on it and all this and that. I was like, yeah, yeah, this is great. No, it's a shotgun, and it's a short shotgun. Uh, it still has the regulation barrel. Of I forget, was it 12 inch, 6 I forget. Uh, the, barrel, the barrel goes from here to here. So it's, it's whatever. It, it's not a shortened thing. It's not sawed off or anything. This is the way it comes. And it comes with two, count them two, magazine tubes. Uh, so, and what I've went with is, which I love, is good old fashioned SMB, double lot. Just beautiful, and it's they're three-inch shells, so there's a little bit of punch to it, a little bit of power to it, and, and so I have nine 38 caliber bullets, you know, 38 caliber lead balls hitting the target. Uh, it punches like a mule, and it hits like a mule. It it's devastating. What even if they have body armor on, they're gonna feel it. All right, <laughs> they're gonna go, Ooh! <laughs> especially at a at a close range. Uh, so, I've, I learned my lesson when I when I took this thing out and I shot it. Uh, it's it's brutal. It's <laughs> it's a brutal thing to shoot. It it doesn't. It is that that punch to the jaw every time. And it hurts like hell. And I also learned that this you can't just go. Ah, ooh, no, you gotta. Bam. You gotta want it. You gotta. You are in charge of the manual operation of of, of the cycle, uh, and so when you pull that thing back, you gotta pull it back, or it's not gonna cycle. That's that was some of the, that was the the big problem with the Caltech uh, that the KSG when it came out, uh, and, and that it, it just it just it doesn't it short stocks or short short strokes it, and uh, it, it it had some. Everybody's like it's some loading issue. It's it's and there, there's a few modifications you can make to that as well. But all in all, once you once you uh, once you figure that out, you're like, oh okay, I just gotta I just gotta pull back really hard, and that that makes that makes a good uh, good handle, you know, for 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 making that happen. So you can just, boom, you know, that ejects the round. All right, the round is ejected, and then. Boom, that has to load it. Uh, downward, yeah, it's easier, but you're coming from here, so you're, you're working, gravity is working against you. Uh, the other, the other uh, con was that this literally ejects right to your arm. Uh, hot brass, you know, and it's coming, it's, I, I've had some cuts, I've had some cuts, uh, usually it's right, because I, I, I lock it in, you know, I lock it in, and it's right there, so, uh, that was an issue. Uh, I, I solved that with what I did. <laughs> I got ghetto with it. I, I mean, I, I, Marauder technology. Uh, <laughs> uh, Outworld technology, if you will. Uh, this is a... If I can pull it back without fucking it all up. This is an isomat. Yeah, the same isomat. Uh, and I just cut out a section, glued it on, and then another section here glued it on, and I, there's a sock on there. Uh, and then I, I, I took this, this is an old Remington sock, gun sock that you put your gun in. 
Uh, usually I would keep it oiled. I would oil the sock and slide the gun in. It was a way of storage. But I took that out and I glued it all together. And with the pins, I adhered it with the takedown pins right here and right here. Just to, just to kind of break it up a little bit and to, oh, it feels nice. It feels real nice. It's like, it's like a pillow on my face. You know? So it's like getting hit with a pillow. Bam, bam. Uh, <laughs> And this, I, I, I put a few of those in there. Uh, so, it was, uh, at the time, it was relatively cheap. This, I, I got for five bucks. <laughs> I mean, literally, like, five bucks, you know, at, at a gun show. Uh, this was a little expensive. This is the Enforce uh, flashlight. It's it's not a thousand. It's, it's 600 lumens, uh, but it gets the job done. And it's got strobe, and it's... it's and it's just, you know, boom. I, it's got a button right there. Easy. And it's low profile. That's what I liked about it. Low profile. It's not hanging off the side. You know, it's, it's, it's in there. Uh, I can take it off easily. It's got a little screw adjustment. And I can just, but it slaps right into the Picatinny rail, which I like. So I can, I can, I can take this off and put it on anything else I have. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's made for that. So, uh, I de and, and American made. So I support that as well. Um, Enforce. It was uh, it was kind of expensive, but at the time I had the money, so I, I went ahead and just you know sunk the money into it because I knew I needed a shotgun. Uh, my my old shotgun, which was a pistol grip, it, it busted up on me. So I, I figured I'd, I'd give me something like this, uh, you know, because whatever. Uh, this currently holds. 12 and 1 of the 3 inch. Uh, so, I, in, in the way it, it, it has a selector switch right here, so that's, that's another thing is, is that it, getting used to it is, is, is when you're shooting, uh, when, when you're going, you got six, in a, six in, a, in a magazine, bang, bang, bang. You know, you better be thinking, okay, well, boom. So, what I did is I just I took, you got the selector switch that selects the barrel. Uh, so there's a little bit of manipulation there. I just take my thumb and go like that. So I have it preset to one barrel or one, one magazine, bang, 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 cycle, 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 and I just go boom. I'm on to the next. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still, still, still on platform. You know what I mean? So that, that being said, you can also switch it up. Uh, but, if I have I have play with it and once you once you get that cyclic thing down you can rock this motherfucker man oh uh, you can turn this thing into automatic just you know boom 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 uh, as much as you can with a shotgun uh, I I have I've done the same now I've done the same thing with Model 870s uh, you know um in in the uh, the other pump shotguns, you can mess up the cyclic rate because uh, you're doing it. Uh, you can short stroke it, or you can, you know, whatever. Uh, usually, that's that's the case. Is is the pullback? Is you got to be able to, you know, pull it back to eject the round. Usually, that's pretty easy. You know, the extractor, the extractor pops out the round and shoots it out. You know, the spent spent casing, and it goes flying. But now you've got a load, so now you've got to, you know, punch out as much as you can, you know, with enough force to work that action. Um, other than that, I've I really haven't any had any problems. Uh, and the more that you shoot it, the easier, because it's all brand new, the easier it kind of gets, and it kind of gets a little, you know, smoother, if you will. <coughs> I've looked online. Where some guys were just like, you know, okay, uh, you know, if you take this little piece here and, you know, uh, you know, do you take your Dremel tool. I, I, I don't like taking Dremel tools to things. <laughs> I'm not an armor, uh, and I, but I have played one on TV. Uh, <laughs> things have went, <laughs> uh, things have went wrong before. So uh, be careful with that uh, when you're modifying stuff. But all in all, it's a, a shotgun is a good thing, uh, good thing to have. The Keltec, it's it's a good it's 
It's a good weapon. Yeah, uh, it's a, it's a good tool. Uh, just just remember that it's unforgiving when when firing. Um, <laughs> so definitely get you uh, if 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 you like to if you like to have you know a good cheek weld, which I do. I, I practice I practice the presentation of my weapon. You know all the time, all the time. I like it high because that's just the way I am. I like it high and high in the high in the shoulder. Uh, you know, boom, so it's right there, and it, I'm there, finger straighten off that trigger, you know, up high, grip high, so I can pull in, you know, boom, and see, I'm not laying on the gun, I'm not doing this, oh, how you doing, no, I don't need to, I don't need to, it's right there, boom, you know, I put it right there, I don't even, I don't really need to just actually put it in my face, you know, which after a while shooting, I was just like, and I'm just gonna go over here somewhere, but you want to be able to look, you know, right there. So if you see, you know, somebody doing there, like, I no, you want to be able to get that in there and put it on target and not have to move, because it you kind of emotion, you know, boom, bang, you know, boom, bang, shh, bang, 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 you know, that's what you want. Uh, so just just some. Uh, just to, just to throw it out there, and, and it doesn't matter what you get. Uh, I've seen a lot of people with the onboard, um, you know, on. That's okay if you're going to be in a gunfight, firefight, um, things in your home. <laughs> they're not going to be. If if somebody, if you're going to engage with and use this tool, uh, rest assured that you. You have the superior firepower, <laughs> and you have home team advantage. You you know the layout of the, of your of your home, and and you know how where to go and how to go. And that that's another thing is, you know, yeah, yeah. Walk around, walk around, and, and look at clear your house with it, and, and identify the problem areas. Um, you know, yeah, you know, get to that point where you're freaking, you know, super high speed. Uh, Delta Force, you know, Delta Ranger SEAL Commando, and you know, walk around with you know, and the lights off. Uh, yeah, my dog. Dogs, be careful. Be careful, dogs. If you have dogs, this is this is a. As a force multiplier, a dog will buy you time. Okay. Yeah. What? What? Oh. <laughs> but they're also in the line of fire from you and them. So chances are they're going to be taken out first. If there's a weapon, boom, they shoot your dog. Because they got to come in. That's the first threat that they face is the dog. Or your attack cats. You know? <laughs> or throwing star lizards. Whatever you got. I don't know. Uh. Death by chicken. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've I've seen some badass uh, roosters out there. Put some spurs on them. Uh, you know, joke. But I love it. Charity has to get a treat as I'm making a video. No. How about that? I'm 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 talking to everybody here. I have to. I have to. So, stand by. <laughs> oh, girl. I think I'm being taxed. Is that what it is? I'm being. This is the charity tax. I I have to I have to pay my charity tax to 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 speak on YouTube. So, as two way, you know this this this. And this are very important. So, but getting familiar with it. Uh, go to the range. Go outside your backyard. Shoot some cans. You know, work through the cycle. Uh, you know, what is your what is your plan? You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna deploy this inside your home, and possibly outside from a covered position inside your home. Uh, or if you go, you know, I'm not going to take this and go hunting with it. 
No, it's, I'm just not, it's, come on. You know, maybe I, I could, I could. I, this could be a grocery getter. Uh, some rabbit, some squirrel, if I, if I, if I took like a, some bird shot um, or something like that, I, I could possibly take small game. I, I could definitely take small game. Uh, it, it, it would, it would, uh, there's not a lot of long range accuracy with this. Okay, uh, even though it does have the standard barrel size, uh, it's just you know it, you 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 need a you need a long barrel shotgun for that, uh, and that's that's the best way. And you know I I have a 20 gauge, I've got a 410, uh, I've got some grocery gooders, and the, I've I've used them. They're great. They're great. You know, great for taking squirrel and rabbit and quail and you know. Uh, I've never really went duck hunting. No, never really went, you know. But uh, that's when you that's when you get into the that's when you get into the chokes and the long barrels and all that. Uh, but uh, my first shotgun was <laughs> this long ass double barrel 12 gauge. I don't even remember what it was, what kind it was. It, it was you break it down, you put two shells in it, boom, boom. It had two triggers on it. Boom, boom. You know, so you could you could pop off. Man, it was a beast. Uh, but it had a long ass barrel. Uh, one side was choked and one side was modified. It was set up for quail. Uh, you know, long, long time ago. So uh, that's, that's Tennessee for you, uh, West Tennessee. So and it, it was it was 30, 40 years old when I got it. Uh, when I was 16, 15, I forget, yeah, 15, 16, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> but, uh, I miss that shotgun, it's just, whoa, mm, a beast, definitely a, a piece of artillery, <laughs> field artillery, but having that, having that, having said all that, uh, um, I don't plan on, I have I have thirteen on board. You know I I do have spare. You know spare rounds somewhere. You know I can just grab. I I actually have a grab. Like well, let me show you. That. So so just in case, because I'm not gonna put a little thing on board. I've I've got a little bag. You you guys seen these things? They're very simple, and. It opens up and there's all my shells. Yeah, I got all kinds of stuff in here. Here, here's some more. Uh, what are these? Oh yeah, this is more. This is like some three-inch buckshot or no, little little smaller buckshot. Uh, they're pretty good. Some more S and B. Uh, oh, I did find. Uh, my, yeah, that's some slug. Nice little slug there. I think it's S and B. Could be, I don't know. Anyway, so I've got some, got some spare stuff. Uh, I don't have them in here because I don't plan on them. But th there's the uh, the Aguilera, uh, Aguilera, Agu Christina Aguilera, <laughs> uh, the uh, Aguila, Aguila, the mini shells. I, I thought that was a great idea, and and I put them in here. I was like, wow, I could put 24 rounds in the fucking shotgun in this short ass little thing, and I tried it. I tried it. I didn't, it was horrible. Uh, <laughs> nothing would cycle. You know, I, I could not get anything to load, even with you know, bam, bam. I, I it was just very hard to, 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 to operate the, the function of the gun that way with the the, the mini shells. Uh, the mini shells would probably be uh, great in a a, a semi, semi-automatic, and then you might have to play with the. The, the gas to, to get it to cycle right because uh, it takes a lot to because uh, it's not a lot of, of not, and you might have to do it with headspace I don't know I mean I don't know but but you know a three inch got a lot of power uh, comes back boom it loads and I'm, it's it's beautiful it's perfect uh, the the mini shells you know that'd be great if you were just messing around or you know I thought I thought okay 24 mini shells in a urban inside my house urban setting 
uh, would be great. I could and I could cycle through them quickly with my 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 fast cycling skills. Uh, but you know, um, it wasn't the case. It wasn't the case. So I I said fuck it. I'm gonna go all in and get three inch S and B uh, pellets, um, double lot, and that that seems to be the kit the the, uh, the best bet, the best situation. Um, you can do butter shot. It's probably not gonna kill. It's probably not gonna. It's it's gonna give them a bad bad day, absolutely. But I'm not I'm not here to give somebody a bad day. I'm here to to end the day. <laughs> so you know they can they can still be you know uh, operational and have a bad day. I do it all the time. You know I have bad days, but I still operate. Uh, I still function, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not an operator by any means. Uh, but no, oh. doggies, doggies barking. Uh, anyway, so you know the KSG, uh, it was perfect for me. I, I I really do wish I would have done more research on it, uh, but it was brand new. Um, but uh, by and by, it's 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 a good choice. Uh, it's it's easy. It's I also thought it'd be easy to uh, to to manipulate in in, in a in a vehicle setting, um, and it will be it absolutely. Uh, law enforcement love it. Uh, matter of fact, when I was getting it, there were a bunch of law enforcement guys that were just giddy <laughs> to get theirs. You know, and you talk to them. You know, hey, what do you think? You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and impart some. Uh, some in, intel there, um, but so as a as a as a short little you know thing, it's great. I think it's great, and you know th this is this is the ultimate equalizer. Somebody's going to come in your house to 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 why are they in your house? Are they in your house to give you a bad day to to end your day. To, to take what you have, to spread hate and discontent, to, you know, all those, all those movies that you've seen, The Purge, and, you know, all that, I mean, this, this is, this stops that. It, it, it gives you a chance. It gives you a chance. It gives you a very good chance. Yeah, very good chance, you know, and as, as, as Americans, we, we, we need to, we, we need to have that. It, you know, <laughs> you know. I'm pretty sure that everybody in the wild, wild west there had a shotgun in their home. Shotgun on the mantle. I mean, you know. So, uh, yeah, like I said, just you know, ha having a shotgun and, and, and being and being familiar with 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 how it works. You know, uh, there, there's a little cocking thing right here that allows me to move everything, but. You know, when when you're when you're firing it, you know, make sure that's on safety. You know, remember those remember those laws. Uh, you know, treat every weapon as if it were loaded. You never point a weapon at anything you're not intended to destroy. Keep your finger straight off the trigger until you fire. Keep the weapon on safe until you intend to fire. Always be sure of your background. Always be sure of the condition of your weapon. So, you know, those things. Uh, there was only four when I was in, but that's the only four that we had to worry about. Uh, <laughs> so, knowing everything, knowing all that, you know, dealing with this and, and dealing with it safely, uh, especially if you're going to be in your home, you have to also think about kids, dogs, you know, uh, your stuff. You don't want to shoot your 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 fresh, you know, your canned preps They're in the next room. You know, your all all your all your all your uh, uh, canned goods just exploding and making a mess. But you know, this will at a, at a close range. It's gonna it's gonna give you a nice pattern. <laughs> uh, there might be more, uh, depending. You know, depending. It, but it's gonna spread out the further it goes out. Uh, uh, it's it's not a lot of penetration. For walls, uh, they can penetrate though. They will penetrate. Uh, wood, thick wood, and uh, and brick, brick walls is probably enough to stop this. 
uh, double ply, maybe triple ply with two by fours would stop a little bit of it. Uh, you're, you're probably going to have some penetration through your through your thin ass drywall. Uh, I don't think hardy. I don't think it goes through hardy board too well. But uh, you know, uh, there there have been tests. Uh, Vigilance Elite. I, I I like that guy. Hold on a second. Somebody's calling my name. So I'm back. So yeah, as I'm sitting here talking about shotguns and grocery getting, I got groceries. That's what the guy was. Uh. Wow, I'm out of breath. <sighs> Had to go to the third floor. But anyway. He says that, uh, this guy, this nice guy, uh, and then made friends in the neighborhood. That's what happens when he makes friends in the neighborhood. He went to the, he went to the shelter, uh, or the, uh, the food bank, and got all this stuff, and, uh, this is like cooked ham. Uh, it's, it's all going bad, and so that's, that's why they gave it away. Uh, but it's still frozen. More cooked ham. Uh, I have some butter. Real butter. Uh, what is this? Grassland butter? Yeah, I don't know. Never heard of that. But it's butter. So. Oh, and this thing. Uh, holy shit. Apples. Apples. I, I had to dig through the apples. Oh, that one's no good. Yeah, see that? Well, it's still good. I can still cut it. I'm gonna need some apples. Uh,. More butter, because you know, butter makes everything butter. Uh, but, oh, oh. I, I took a few things. Uh, shit, what are you going to Drumsticks. They, it looks kind of old, and the date, the date is kind of old. Uh, yeah, I got all the butter. <laughs> I got all the butter, and I got most of the... The meat, and I got all the canned goods. There's a few canned goods. Beans, got some beans. What is this? Uh, kidney beans. Yeah. More canned goods. Green peas. More kidney beans. Oh, more cooked ham. Some macaroni and cheese, just because you know, eh, comfort food, right? So. Oh, more of this. What do we got? Green peas. Green peas. Oh, this one's kind of suspect. Yeah. Uh, some chicken thighs. You can tell they're already kind of discolored. But, hey, you know, it'll freeze. It'll stay. More cooked ham. I, I left. I did leave some stuff. There. But, <laughs> oh, yeah. Mixed fruit. I took all the... There, there really wasn't a lot of uh, canned goods, but I took them all. And more apples, which I gotta go through and look at those. But yeah, just like that, you know? You heard it. I was just sitting here. I had my, my, my balcony door open and... and yeah. There he is. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah, that was him. <laughs> he just came back. He said he waited in that line for an hour and a half. And he get he got he got most of the butter, he said. 
But, uh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff, bro. Free food. Boom. Oh, charity. Here. <laughs> I have some frozen chicken thighs. But, uh, I don't know if y'all heard that. Butter is good. So, he does that. He said some other people do that in, in the laundry room. Uh, you just, just throw it out. And I, I, I took a big old bag of uh, cat stuff because you guys know I used to have three cats. Uh, and I still had it. Uh, kept it in a bag. Uh, just all this cat food and, you know, cat medicine, uh, cat treats. I, I'm not going to use it. Uh, I've got charities already pre prepped up on, on dog food and stuff. So uh, I got to go. Uh, this, this went from a KSG, uh, video to, fuck, now I gotta, now I gotta, I gotta work to put this stuff away. So, this is Mad Shad, encouraging y'all to train, and continue to train, continue to prep, and, uh, as you can see, it's a mad, mad world out there.